Today's sponsors are brought to you by Ideas Unlimited. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Maybe a baby shower. Could be a wedding party. School's letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. Ideas Unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces. You like snacks? Everyone likes snacks, am I right? Get your snacks custom made with your face on it. Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited, your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited, proud sponsor of the Opinionated Podcast. We're live, so yeah, we we're live. Fuck it, this motherfucking nigger. Oh, I just oh, fucking whoa. <laughs> Fuck it, we're live. Hey man, what are we? Hey, what are we talking about? Fuck it, we're live. We got a video we talking about. That's and that's what we're talking about. We got a video lined up. We- you can edit all this shit the fuck out. You know that, I am, right? I am, but I'm also setting up our Instagram. Yeah, you can edit all this shit the fuck out. You can get rid of it. You can edit it. You can do whatever you want. That's that crazy is the world. power. That is the power of today's technology. Where back in the day you had to splice. Why are you it still? In. Why, bro? I don't know. <laughs> fuck, man. Because y'all niggas just. <laughs> I'm going. The I'm, fuck out of me. I'm finishing the the live on Instagram. There we go. It's up and running. So. Today, what we're talking about, we have a video that we're going to play first. Then we're going to react to the video. And we're going to pull our reactions from the video and let the people say their comments or whatever they got to say about the video. We want to hear y'all comments. We will display them on the screen. We will let y'all say. We will answer y'all comments because that's the type of show we do. So, yeah, because we do that. Let's play the video. And then we'll go into it from there. Here go the video. Being out here in these streets. And Lord knows. But the problem that we're having is I've had this girl for three years. And she has indicated to me that what? That me and Daddy Chris have been fucking. She said that her and Daddy Chris been screwing, right? Yes. And it's not the first time she said it, right? So when she brought it to my attention, I immediately tried to address the situation. And then immediately she said that we didn't do it. That you didn't do it. No. So now I'm completely confused about what's the reality and what's real and what's not. You understand? So now she's saying it again. And she's really pretty detailed. And honestly, (laughs) I really don't even know. You know, I I know who she is. I know who he is. And And the fact that I know who both these people is. I'm inclined to believe that it could be the truth. I'm inclined to believe that it can be a lie. So what do I do? But she is saying all these things. So tell me what has occurred. Because I'm I'm baffled. I'm lost. I'm confused. I don't even know what to do. You understand? And the messed up part about it is that she's 24. So she wants these things. Like, she, do you want Daddy Chris to have sex with you? Yes, I do. But she said that she wanted to have sex with her biological father too, right? Yes. And he, and he said what? No, because that's kind of rape. So that's what she said, but she's also adamant about the fact that her and Daddy Chris, and what I'm not going to do is be that woman who say, no, he did it, but I'm confused. So what do I do? I need a lot of technical tests. I need something. And because she be back and forth, a motherfucker who is um, manipulative can use it to their advantage. Like, oh, she's delusional. She'll say any damn thing. So that's his, that'll be his, his, his go-to. Then, oh, she's IDD. She's delusional. You know she say all kind of shit. Because you also said that Jaquay did something to you, right? You yeah. told my neighbor that, right? Yeah, was that the truth or a lie? A lie. And so when you lie on people, how much believe when you tell them the truth? So what happened with Daddy Chris? So on um, that night when Andrew, when Jesus friends came. So it be stuff like that that be making me feel like some of this shit be true because she be detailed about the days. We, like We were in the bathroom, right? We took off our clothes. He was unloading porno videos. After he did that, we started to fuck like the porn. And what you say happened in the car? 
that um we were um we, we was before we came to your house on the driveway. He asked me to put my shorts down. So like, what do I do? Honestly, what do I do? Please, somebody fucking tell me. What the fuck do I do? Okay. Yeah, that's that was that was disturbing. That's hard to watch. Yeah, very hard to watch. Very hard to watch. And it's fucked up because yeah. there's so many different ways you can I don't think she's lying either. I don't think she's lying. I don't think she's lying either. So so many ways, so many different ways to go with this video. Where do you start? Where do you begin? Um I, yeah, Joe. I'm gonna start. Where I want to start is, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say nothing. Fucked I'm afraid. Up. I am going. Okay. I am going to say some fucked up eventually. So I preference this has nothing to do with these guys. These okay. are just simple thoughts of minds. I'm just going to break them down in order, and then we're just going to get into the shit. That's a disclaimer. It's a disclaimer because it's going to say fucked <laughs> That's up. A disclaimer. So first, why is Daddy Chris having sex? With a mentally challenged girl. That's a real Two, question. Yeah, that's a real question. Two, yeah. she is 24. So mm -hmm. is it not rape because she's 24? Or is it rape because she's 24 and she's mm -hmm. mentally challenged? Mm -hmm. Three, another one, three. Why is the mom recording this instead of going to the cops? Mm-hmm. And here's where I have to put the disclaimer in. How trash is the mom's pussy that the dad will scoop so low to have sex with his mentally challenged daughter? What is she not doing at home that will make you want to go? All right. Yeah. That's so that was that was so, your first question. I know that for a fact. Yes. Yeah, the was first, my first question, question that popped in your head was I'm that. Gonna, and I'm going to yeah. say, and I'm going to go and say this. She doesn't have to be bad at anything. That could just be the type of nigga that he is in general. No, 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 you know no, no, what I'm no. saying? It doesn't, Kev, not you everybody is like you. Kev, house. Kev, you ain't don't. No, Kev, ain't, not everybody's like you, Kev. There's niggas out here who don't got it all in their own head. You know what I mean? They don't live by the same morals and 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 type of consequences that you may receive they live on a different type of scale you know what i mean so you can't say what's wrong with her in reality it's what's wrong with him if oh, it is yeah. it's, it's, it's he, what's wrong he, with he, him. I, that was my next thing what is fucked up with him that you would stop this little girl from watching blippy your door to explore that you go Tw peek 24 do some shit like that she's 24. 24 bro she's 24 but she's she is uh, mentally challenged. So here's the thing. She, uh, and I always say I preference we, mentally challenged because the shit he did was fucking retarded. I've watched other videos with her. Apparently, she goes on dates. You know what I mean? Like, after you showed me this, I watched follow-up videos about her, stuff that they do with her. She goes out on dates. She meets people. She's she's a 24-year-old woman. She's not 16, 17, or younger. You know what I mean? I'm And I'm not making an excuse for whatever happened, but what I'm saying is, is that she has the mentality to know to be sexually attracted to men. Now, some of the things that I did hear that were off was she she wanted to have sex with her biological father, and he told her no. You know what I mean? So, so being comfortable with with bringing that type of conversation up with let a you family know member, all, let you know she ain't all there. Yeah, well, I mean, they knew she wasn't. She was adopted. They knew she wasn't. She didn't foster no or she was foster, I, I say foster well, allegedly it said her adopted child. So I'm just going off the information. She said that that's what it that's what it says on the on the videos that it's her adopted child. Okay. But um but the thing about it is is I think it's just more of a person being able to take advantage of someone else. That's what it really just comes down to. You know that you have the ability to um to to outthink her and Propose different scenarios and situations that might entice her. It's taking advantage. Bro, it's called taking advantage. Bro, I take taking advantage, advantage of girl. I take advantage of females with with daddy issues. I'm not taking advantage. I can look in that girl's eyes and completely see this motherfucker ain't all there. Just she ain't blank the whole video or nothing. I can just see she's not all there. Yeah, that's when that's I when I point. when I listen. 
I, 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 listen, as a kid at 13, I almost did some fucked up shit. I was gonna fuck a girl. She had scoliosis. Her, she was all hunched the fuck over, and she was. She kept talking shit to me, talking about she wanted to fuck me and, and give me some head. So <laughs> I was in a, I was in a desperate. <laughs> where you put that story, bro? This ain't where you put that story. I'm just saying, I was. Know that. Okay, that's first of all, it's not the same. Secondly, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, man, she was she was messed up from the scoliosis. She was bad. She was she was she was bad. She was did the, the scoliosis body. affect her brain? Not it ain't affect her brain, but okay. it affected okay. her it affected her speech a little bit. So she had the speech, her she had a little bit of speech impediment, but she kept telling me she wanted to you know what I mean, suck <laughs> my dick and all this. And I'm thinking, I'm looking, and I'm like, sorry to the scoliosis people. I'm like, do I fuck this twisted up motherfucker or do I just let it ride? Like, just Damn, as much as I love you, I fucking hate you, yo. As much as I love you, I'm, I would so, die uh, for you, but I fucking hate you. <laughs> I want to listen. I want to let Kev continue his story, but let's let's make this very clear, just so that you know. Yeah, I'm not. What we're talking anymore. about doesn't necessarily have to do exactly with this particular person, but yeah. we are we are we are having a conversation here. But I want Kev to continue to talk about the girl with scoliosis that it oh, affected so her speech. It affected her speech, and she was a little, <laughs> and she was a little twisted up from the scoliosis. But every time I would ride past this, this motherfucker, she would stop me and would tell me like she would fuck the shit out of me. Mind you, I'm 13 years old, and he ain't really getting pussy on an everyday basis. So why she had that confidence? I know. Because I was cool with her brother, so I was always hanging out with her brother. It's, so I was you always, she will fuck the shit out you. I want to know. She that. said, "I don't know how she's gonna fuck the shit out of me." I told, "I'm like, you, I'm not. You fuck, you fucked up. Like, don't mean to talk bad, but she fucked up. You, you twisted up. The shit got you twisted, Kev. What do you I'm, mean? That twisted up? Uh, she because the <laughs> scoliosis is a spinal disease, so it 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 twisted the motherfucker was like like this. She couldn't lift her head all the way, so she was twisted up. White skin, drawn green eye, never forget her. She was I fucked the shit out of you, and I'm like, do I do this shit? Like, will I be a fucked up person if I fuck? Oh, I think the jury's candy. out on that. <laughs> I think yeah, how old were you again? I was 13, man. I was 13. I was 13. How old was she? <laughs> she was 13. You know, she was she was my age too. Oh, badass kids, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> this is yo, I never forget it because the song out the time was uh Akinelli song. Akinelli shit was Akinelli song, uh put it in your mouth. I'm familiar. That song. Yeah, so that song was just playing in my head, and I'm saying. Nigga, listen, I got tempted. I was it, it, I was close to just I asked her who's home. And I asked her who's home. Because I was like, fucking caretaker, what? nigga. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> like what are you saying? <laughs> she wasn't there by herself. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, a fucking, you a fucking, you're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, it got close, man. It got close because I was desperate. I'm just looking at this motherfucker. You don't know, get pussy just don't come to you willingly at 13 years old at that time. I'm just looking like, fuck it. I just won't tell nobody that I, I, mean, I fucked the chick with scoliosis and she a little at, twisted up. She at 13, tell everybody. At 13, oh. I'm going to be honest. Like, I I mean, I, I get it. At 13, you don't really give a fuck. You're like, all I right. I don't. <laughs> I All don't right. like I can feel the blood rushing and I'm looking at this motherfucker. I'm like, I'm about to fuck the shit out of this twisty motherfucker. What were you gonna say? You was gonna fuck the scoliosis out of her. Tell her, that's what you was gonna that's say. Exactly was it? Look, 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 that's exactly, yeah. what, that's yeah. exactly what he wants. Scoliosis. Girl, when I'm done with you, you're gonna be able to walk straight. So but that's exactly what he wants to say. But like going back to this video, my conscious kind of fucking kicked in like. Yeah, like, I mean, you are cool. cool. You cool with her brother, and you clearly yeah. see. Why is you like, still? Why, yo, you clearly see. She's there's no disabled. more to the story, bro. <laughs> like you clearly see, she disabled, bro. Just don't do it. Just, just like, I just walked away from the situation. I was sitting there on my bike, just looking at her, like watching her walk away. How she walk away? No, she ain't walk away. She was sitting. She couldn't really move. She was just sitting in front of her house. And she, 
Just... What do you, What do you mean she couldn't really move? <laughs> no, she was fucked up, man. Like she was. <laughs> she was, man. You ever see an action figure when you like you, hey, you all up an action right. figure? Right, no, yeah. I'm serious though. I'm not even trying to be funny. She was fucked up, and like I had to sit there and think: Do I really fuck the chick that's messed up from scoliosis? <laughs> Or do I leave? So I just sit there on my bike. I'm letting her talk her shit. And I just like, you know, I, I say, yo, chill. She couldn't move. How'd she get to the step? It was right in front of her. Uh, she, she walked. It, it was fucked up. It, the whole situation was fucked up. Was she pretty? She was light skin, green eyes, John. She had she long hair. Yo, <laughs> but that's it. I mean, besides I that, it was like she was. Like at 13 years old, you at your mind, you're saying, like, yo, she's fucked up handicap wise. Like, don't do this shit. So yeah, that's why I'm getting back moral to the dad. Of the, moral of the story. Uh, you, you I've had a fuck enough of you. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> All right. Like I've had I'm enough. telling you, Drake. I'm telling you, bro. You don't get you, you don't get to continue <laughs> right now. Yo, you, you, so, yo, I'm telling you, yo. So, the moral of the story would be to not take advantage of somebody who's so easily to take advantage of, especially when you are the father figure or yeah. you're, you just have a better mind on you. What yeah. blows my mind is Kev thinks he's the victim in that situation. Because I didn't him. Think, he might be. <laughs> he's I didn't think clearly I was right the victim, <laughs> but it was like, he said, so she so came at me first. So I was like, mm, maybe <laughs> I was I, like, I just couldn't believe I went as far as Axer, who was home, because it was Kev, I was that close. Kev, Kev, I Kev we get it, we get it. Yeah, you get, get it. You get what I'm saying. But I'm saying, but far as the video, Daddy Chris, where was that in the back of your mind? This girl's talking to you that you say like you. Where does your moral compass like say, yo, this is not right? Like, it doesn't. Hey, I adopted this girl. I know this girl comes with mental issues. Yes, she's 24, but you can clearly see she probably has the mental capability. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just guessing by looking at the video, maybe of a 10 year old. The mental capability. Fair assumption. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that's just me looking from the video, looking in, that you say, like, she's talking. you like, man, I, I, listen, I ain't going to lie. Neck down, yeah, she could probably get it. But, I'm just, come on, man, y'all. I'm the only person that thought that shit, neck down, she could probably get it. But when you start hearing her talk, it was like, you got to like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do this shit, man. You just, you just you can't. Off here where you got the mute yourself too, dog. <laughs> I'm just saying, neck down, she's, you look, you like, man, she thick as shit. Like, nigga. you know, that's only a, I mean, that's really a fair assumption when you see a female. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to just give you a scenario. You're out somewhere with the fellas. You're a single man. You see a woman. You're looking at her like, damn, she looks good. You see her. You, you see, see her. her. And then if she starts talking like that, you like, oh, whoa, whoa, got to reverse a little bit. Does it stop you from still trying to have sex with her, Kat? Depends on what she look like. You no, it's like we you just see. I'm, I'm talking just, about the girl in the video. Like neck I'm down. not. I am. I am hereby not. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying because you look, you look at a female. You're gonna you keep going, right? Neck, yeah, go on. Okay, I am going to keep going. You. you look neck down, and that's what you. That's what she. She says she goes one day. You look neck down, but when you make eye contact with her and you start talking to her, you start to realize putting shit together like shit ain't all clicking. Like I shouldn't be doing this shit. Like who is letting you go out on these dates, and why ain't you like like is you see a lot of Down syndrome, pe people with Down syndrome, not to make jokes or make fun of them, no. but you see a lot of people with Down syndrome, they get They're married. People. Yeah, they make, they get married, they have relationships and shit like that. And it's cool. It's like, you know, they still have their caretakers, whatever, on the same level. But you would think that, I get it. You look at the shorty, you're like, man, all right. But you got to like, look, maybe you should 
date people that you find attractive. So this is a conversation more about the rights yeah. of people who might be deemed handy capable. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. what, do, who do they date in their dating pool? What's considered right or what's wrong? What's considered taking advantage versus not taking advantage. Right. So in a, in your situation, you just said like a person with down syndrome dating someone that doesn't have down syndrome. Um, is it right or is it wrong? I, 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 I kind of don't know if it's wrong. I don't see why it would be. I don't. I mean, I'm to you talking about two people within the same age. Important. And, same uh, age. Yeah, same age. Same yeah. age range. Um, one person, if if one person is understanding the situation and is tending to their needs, is actually loving. I don't see anything wrong with the relationship. There's a difference between two people dating, whether one is off spec off the spectrum and one is on. And one person who is supposed to be a caretaker for an individual taking advantage of a person because they know what they can and can't do and how they how their thought press process is and having sex with them. It's, I'm it's, I'm taking care of you. I've known you for however long because if she was adopted or I'm pretty sure she wasn't adopted at 24. They probably had her for a while. They probably been living together. She, for a while. she said, she said three years, three years, so, so three, 21. So, so you've three, known her three, for three years in her, in your house. Have you had, I mean? have had. So, so, and my opinion would be, is that that thought was always there from the day one. If that, yeah. if that, if this is the case and it's true, then, then as soon as she came in the house, that thought process was already in his head, at least. And don't know if it was placed in her head or if she came there with the same intention. She probably came there with the same intention, but 80% of the people that she that this mentally challenged girl is dating, probably 90, I say, are taking advantage of them. None of them is going to who's dating this girl is going to introduce them to their family. I don't give a fuck who you are. You Listen, won't bro. be able to. If you have an old school grandma and an old school mother and you bring this girl around and they look at her, they say something's a little off with her. But the moment she speaks, I don't care which who you are. The not only are the jokes coming in from your cousins, the crazy, the crazy questions from your grandparents and your mother is coming flying in. You, they're gonna be like, where I've the fuck did you I've seen this personally? What are you talking about? You see somebody. I've seen, I date. I don't care. Don't, I'm not talking listen. about dating somebody. We don't have to. We, the world, we don't have to keep going, but we all have. Oh yeah, a motherfucker bringing somebody around and niggas is like, yo, something's come. Something's clearly wrong there. Yeah, I dated one of the motherfuckers too. She, well, I wasn't she, talking about that. Nah, I don't she, even. She know wasn't what, like I don't that. Even know what you're talking about? What? I dated yeah. one of the motherfuckers. Too. Not like that. I dated a motherfucker that was just off, and it just man, she just. I don't know up. what you're talking about. I will tell you the story. Maybe you. So. Can, I'm about to say maybe I'm you can explain. I'm gonna elaborate the story. Like she, she was a normal girl, but she would say some. He would just say some crazy shit. She was crazy, and it didn't okay. make sense. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, the first I mean, time she met my mother, very different. By the way, she's telling my mother stories and how she's growing up. I'm in the other room. I, it's cool. I'm cool with the story she's telling my mom. She decides to tell my mom the story that she told me that I'm like, this bitch is crazy. She told my mom how her mother and them had a van that the transmission broke and the car only drove in reverse and they used to drive the car everywhere. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Nigga, when I heard her start telling the story, I I was so far away from where my her and my mother was, I couldn't. If I rushed in there to stop her from telling the story, she would have been looking at me like, "Well, you listened to me. Why did you call me crazy? When I told you the story." So I just sat there like, "Motherfucker, why would you tell this lady this of all people?" My mother, if y'all know my mom, my mom will sit there and listen to you tell this crazy shit. And then she will come with the most subtle, subliminal jokes that have, will have everybody else in the fucking room laughing, and you don't know what's going on. I'm not saying, oh, what? Yeah. 
I never knew you you can drive a van all the way in reverse and the cops don't pull you over. Shit, <laughs> I wish I knew that. I had a couple car transmissions and messed up. I right. would have drove the reverse if I knew I could go to work. And a and normal then, person would catch that. Normal people is catching this shit and they're laughing. But this crazy motherfucker I'm dating is fucking co-signing the bullshit. Like, yeah, you could do that. We didn't get pulled over. And then what did you do? Immediately grabbed her up and I left. Nah, and when I I'm, came back, Kev broke up with her, right? There. No, I didn't break up with her. <laughs> no, no, he didn't actually. <laughs> no, did. That's why, and I'm not gonna say what he did, but it's hilarious <laughs> to me right now. Just know it's hilarious. Because Dre was around more. I came back like the following day without her. I came back like the following day without her. I got crucified by my family. They these niggas flamed the shit out of me. No joke I had could top them talking about you dated this crazy bitch talk about she drove a whole who drives a whole fucking car reverse. You tell me you don't go buy another fucking car or you take the shit to the mechanic and get the transmission fixed. You just go drive. She like Kevin, she like, so how they drive Kevin this van with the mom turn the seat around. <laughs> Look, I'll do I'll do you one better. You had to reverse into each spot. Yeah. Right? You had to reverse yeah. into each spot. Yeah. So how do you pull how out? The fuck you getting out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. It never parallel parking. Yeah. No, no, no nigga, at said, Target. She said we put it in neutral and we push it. <laughs> she gonna have an answer. So I, that's two sides of the same coin, man. That's that's yeah. that's that's crazy. But this and is on the spectrum. This is on a spectrum. Hey, there's two things. To date, to date somebody on a spectrum, to show up to the house and you a normal person and you're dating somebody with say Down syndrome. No. Maybe because in today's world, it might like, you know, people are more, you know, more inclined to being sensitive because today's society, which is a good thing. I think everybody should be included. But watching this video, of this little girl is like, y'all niggas are just knowing this mentally challenged girl. All she's trying to do is fuck. And it ain't she don't care who she lets hit. I don't know if she has the intelligence or the wherewithal to fucking say, hey, put on the condom or protect yourself because you're being sexually active. You get what I'm saying? Well, it's, I think, and I've known people in different neighborhoods, women, girls, uh, girls, that they've had that issue. And there's a lot of people who take advantage of that. Uh, a lot of men, a lot of men that people grow up respecting, take advantage of that. Like I've, I've seen the ones that were on the spectrum or her were handy capable um that that was a thing that they did they were promiscuous they that's a thing mm. and i've never been the type to jump in there you know i'm not better than anybody but it's just never made me say oh yeah let me get in line because it would be multiple people doing that with hey. me. it's, yeah, cause it's a down. thing and mm -hmm. and I, and here's what I think. I, I kind of want to take it off that that girl and just have a conversation. But we can reference that particular situation. I, what I do think is maybe she. This is just something I think. It's my opinion. I don't know if it's true. I'm just giving a situation. Maybe she might have done certain things in front of this guy, right? And him. I mean, honestly, let's keep it real. Him being a creep. Rather than brushing it off and being like, nah, I'm not going, you know what I'm saying? We don't do stuff like that. He fell right into it because yeah, he's, he he's a fucking creep, right? So he's yeah. still a creep no matter what. And she's so, still a woman with that. That She's still a woman that might have some issues. So he's wrong in that situation. Even though she's of age, he's wrong. Now, now read this question right here. So if she gets pregnant, does a man get charged with some type of crime? That's very that interesting. I don't I, think so. I don't think so because the girl is 24. You get what I'm saying? That's see, that's and that's where's the fucking I, gray area. De depending, depending on what kind of if issue she has, two things, depending on what kind of issue she has. 
because if she's not fit, if they, if she has now, I'm, I'm talking on my ass, but if she has like power of attorney and the, the girl can't make her own decisions, then that's like having sex with a, you know what I'm saying? Like there's an issue there. I don't know what kind of issue. It could just be abuse, yeah. but there is an issue there. It's not necessarily going to be rape, but there's an issue because she's not competent. Now, if so. she is competent, which my thing is, I'll get to my point. Just give me a second. If she she can't be competent because she's saying I had this girl for three years. You can't say I had this girl for three years for a 20, 24 year old who's a grown woman if there's if she's still competent to do a lot of her own stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, because she would have or her else, own spot. Yeah. Right. You wouldn't even, but even, not even that. You just wouldn't use that kind of verbiage. You wouldn't mm -hmm. say I've had her for three years. You would say she's lived with me for three years. It just totally two two totally different things. Mm -hmm. You when you say I've had, that's referring to a kid, somebody you have responsibility over. Yeah. So I believe that maybe she's not mentally capable of doing certain things. So at that point, yes, he, yes, he can be charged with something. So, he should, and he should now. Moving this, moving the topic along, let's go to the mother in this situation, which is which pit was was twisting me up. She's asking on social media, <clears throat> what should she do? To me, in my eyes, the motherfucker is clearly looking for some type of attention, hoping that she becomes this fucking social media star but like this is i think this is the wrong way to become known on social media it's like oh it's uh what's her name the little girl named tt and all this shit who wants to be known for you're the you're the mom that letting this mentally challenged girl have sex with whoever daddy chris is which i guess is this lady's husband i can agree with that I can agree yeah. with the fact that they both need to be charged because because there is there is an issue there. But but more to your point of her um of of the mother being on social media, yes, I, I think that nowadays people look to social media and and they they really think they're going to get answers. Like you go to TikTok, you really think that people are going to give you answers. Like it's it's like a thing that they do, but you're attention seeking because. All of that shit is in house. That is y'all business. To handle y'all business like you know you need to. Don't ask a motherfucker on social media. Ask the police. Say, hey, I have this situation. This is what happened. Um, this is what happened. What should I do in this situation? And let the police who upholds the law tell you, okay, and you go through the steps. You know what I mean? Listen, you know what's going on. You know the you know the girl promiscuous the, the the mother you know the girl promiscuous you know that's an issue there, you know that, right? When they start bringing up certain shit, it is your job to then not go to social media to ask for answers. It's your job to okay, let's figure this shit out today. Yeah, just buy the girl a fucking dildo or something. I don't fucking know. That's not no, what I meant. No, no. Of God, course, no. therapy definitely is needed within that whole scenario. You know what I mean? Oh, who? You need to send. They they need to find professional help, whether it be her talking to the police, getting some type of therapy. There has to be professional help within there to help resolve this situation. You know what I mean? All the way through, she's not going to be able to to figure out what the fuck is is going on or let. They basically try to let TikTok and Facebook play detective and shit like that mm -hmm. and let everybody else do the answers. <clears throat> when that ain't the way. You ain't you you're doing nothing but embarrassing yourself in all reality. Yeah. I would never want to put my business out on the street so I could walk down the street and when people see me, that's what they think of. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Not oh, the yeah. good thing that you do, not the positive shit that's going on. Just yo, you out here and this is what's going on in your household. And it's you other freak bulls. It's other freak bulls out there, too. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm pretty sure being able to take advantage as well. Right. Yeah, fat, nasty, stinking niggas who can't get no pussy. Like, oh, okay. this is the easy This is an easy target. I don't really think that's, that's the only predators in the world. Yeah, it's, nah, a lot of, it's a lot of handsome predators, buddy. It is handsome predators, and they fucked up. But it's, I don't think <laughs> nobody that's a real fucking ladies man who's getting... Sex on a consistent basis is going to say, 
let me go mess with the little special needs girl because I know she does X, Y, Z. The, the grimy dudes that just out there that want to run trains on chicks. Yeah, they going to like, I think yo, you're wrong. I think you're wrong. So you think anybody, you think everybody on the block. That no, knows I ain't say this. everybody. I just don't think they come That's in great. one type of form. Yeah, there, yeah huh. there's no there's no one size fits all. I think a, a dude who takes advantage, okay. takes advantage. And it could be the ladies man, bro. Because the ladies yeah, man right. knows that like he, he's trying to go get what he wants. Kind of at any cost. To me, it's the horny guys. We know we know some horny people. They just are horny. Oh, yeah. men. They just they just horny. Like want to put anything in any like anything in any hole. So if they're in a certain position where it's easier for them, then they'll do it, no matter how they look. It's crazy. Like like some like like I said, this girl ain't. I don't think she has the mental capability to say, "Hey, put a condom on." I mean, I don't know that though, Kev. I, bro, come on, man. I don't come, know that. I mean, just just watching the video. She obviously wants to have sex because she made it clear in the video she wanted to have sex with her. What she said in the video, this is the video where she said she wanted to have sex with her biological father, but he told her straight up and down, that's rape. Right. You know what I mean? Um, so she she's out there having sex. Don't come on, man. You you start getting into it like most women be like, hey, yo, put a condom on. How you know this girl's like saying that shit? She's like, oh, we're having sex. I'm happy to be having sex. You fuck around and get her pregnant. You know what I'm saying? That that's one of the things. You fuck around and get her pregnant. Now this girl has this baby. When that happens, dog, the state is gonna get involved in that whole situation. And they're gonna go ask her who did what and who you've been having sex with. And they gotta even who watching the that TikTok video. I'm surprised nobody seen that TikTok video. It was like, yo, uh, social services need to go to this house. Like, I understand you want to let this girl date, but this girl is out here having sex. She ain't out here dating and the the mom ain't screening these people or or letting them go on, you know, the little, the, I ain't gonna say the little girl, but she's 24, but the mom, the girl, and whoever she's dating, they all together to make sure the situation is a, is a, a protected environment. She's just letting her go out and do whatever. She's going to yeah, get pregnant. Yeah, she's going to get pregnant and the state going to get involved and whoever that baby, the dad is, he going to be in some, sh either he going he gonna to be in some shit. I don't you, think so. You don't think they I will just, label him like a predator or something like that? I, I, see, I so think what happens me. is when they're going to, when anything comes to light, they're going to go about how many people she's already had sex with previously. They're going to ask her if that's something she wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And she's very vocal, vocal about mm. how she is sexually. Look so they're going to look at that situation. If if anybody's going to get charged, it's, it's the person taking care of her with any type of. See, that and that's where and that's where the quote unquote daddy Chris would come involved, because if he's part of being a, tear, a caretaker for her and he ends up getting her pregnant, I think that's when the legal system really would get involved. You know, what I mean? hope, you're I supposed mean, to be a guardian and you're you're out here having sex with the person that you're supposed to be taking care of. I think that's where you get in trouble. But if she's just having the sex and she has a, just she gets pregnant guy. By a random guy, yeah, why would he get charged for anything besides maybe child support? That's what I was yeah. thinking. How I would, well, I would get, that's what I was saying is that random person. It's just a sexual act if she was if she was okay with it, which I mean you could say in your brain it's fucked up, but really, what can you what can a person do? Because she's still a she's still a a woman, you know what I'm saying? And that guy's a guy, and it's fucked up. But is it chargeable? Probably not. We listen. Well, uh, we know some ones that ain't all there, and they be fucking, and oh, they yeah. just be fucking. We do them. yes, we do, yeah. and they have kids. Niggas be fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. Shit. And then they and then they be gone. I know somebody. I know somebody. Like, and I'm like, oh, I can't say the name, but I know yeah, somebody. I'm not, but I know somebody in that same situation is like, yeah, that's not cool. 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 Yeah, that's not cool.
Shit went down. <laughs> this shit didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, Dre? <laughs> Yo, it's like, come on, man. <laughs> now, listen. I, uh, uh, you ain't got I'm nothing to say, to, huh? Yeah, I'm get, yeah, I don't. Because I'm about to get the fucked up part of this story. Yeah, I think nice. I think that, and just to take it away from, because I don't want to be stuck on yeah, this no. woman and her family. It's really the situation that is sad to hear, because it happens more often than you think. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This is, I mean, this could be her way of bringing it to light f- for other people, but really, mm-hmm. it's just entertainment to people. You know what I'm saying? People watch that shit so they could be like, oh. And then show other people, share it. Now you got the whole world looking in your household. And the shit is, it's a shame that you you have to go through that. And and like Dre says, seek attention. And have but, werewolves in the background chasing you. Yeah, they're big dogs. <laughs> no, but no, like, it's just, it, it's all fucked up way around. It's just like, so the mom. Yeah, man. The mom. Back to the mom. Are you questioning what you're doing at home sexually wise for your man? That he's going creeping down in that bedroom every night? Should she should she question herself? This is the fucked up part of the story. No. Because we're about to, we're about to wrap this shit up. This well, no. Well, who, no. who do you in that situation? The real question is who do you believe? Because if they're both liars and there's both and they both tell truth, some truth about the situation. You know what I mean? And you've known her to be a liar. She's a she's a grown woman still, but even though she has uh, disabilities. But this isn't the first scenario that she's been in this situation with her. I mean, from what I can tell. From what I hear, yeah. Yeah. So this isn't this isn't the first time. What's that lady's that situation? How do you that, get to the actual truth? That lady looks crazy. I'm watching. I watched the video. I'm like, this bitch is just. Like, I know people like this who just fucking hella extra and just fucking crazy. It just that house just seems like it's in a fucking uproar every fucking day, and you got to deal with this bullshit and you trying to get pussy from this this fucking outrageous crazy ass woman, and then you forced to go look down the hallway. All right, it just fucked up, man. It, it, for real, it's, I mean, I'm just thinking about it, just fucked up. It's like. You you know this. You just like how desperate do you gotta be? Like you, you that you can't go buy some pussy from the outside. Like you know what I'm saying? Or or, or cheat with the neighbor, or 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 go creep with another woman that you will go creep. Come on, man. He probably looked at it as in house pussy, Kev. That ain't in house pussy, dog. That, that, is. Is a, that is a further it's thing. Not, it's man. not a good thing, but this. But oh man. I mean, you better sit your low. You better go back to watching. You better go right back to watching fucking Paul Patrol and a, get the fuck up out my face. A creep, horny dude that is turned on by this. She's not a little girl. She has a grown woman's body. She has a grown woman's body. She just has, and we're assuming the mind of a little girl. Maybe she just talks slow. We don't know. The yeah, point maybe being, she the, do. The point being is that. It's not, I think you're thinking that it's like, oh man, my wife ain't giving it to me, so I'm gonna go. No, the nigga's a creep. So what is it? The nigga's so, a yeah, creep. Now, listening to the what the girl said, because if you hear her talking, talk about she put the porn on and we start fucking. That's not creepy really, behavior. That's very creepy behavior. Cause he just sat there like, Yeah, watch this. Mm. And now let's do it. Let's you know you said that before. And what if that's only half of the story? I guarantee you. You is. know what I'm saying? What if what if they what if this that wasn't even the first time? You know I'm what pretty mean? sure it's not the first time. I'm pretty sure he's been doing that once he found what out. What if this they had the conversations home. and she was susceptible to just regular shit? Started off kissing, next thing you know, they've been fucking on the regular. I'm not kissing no wife. We're not man. talking about you. You do you see you, you should not assimilate with creep. In shoes, bro. But it, it ain't you, and you're putting your morals on another man who obviously don't live by those types of He don't of have morals. no he don't have no more. He don't he has he has it, zero fucking it morals. It is true. It, it is, is true. Allegedly, just allegedly, just say allegedly like oh, nah, daddy true. Chris, the name Daddy Chris is crazy. That so is it's, crazy. It's, it's true. Like this, We're talking about a it's person. Not, you can't do this that. This is person, but this is like you fucking a handicap. You just, I'm just saying you just hey, come on, man. 
it's, it's, it's like, come on. It's like it's all this shit played through my fucking mind. It's all I know I that's about. why I knew you it's was just, gonna say that. I know played. that's why I can I know what you're thinking, Kev. That's why I knew you was gonna you would have did that sound oh. thing when you said that you would have just popped out and Dre stopped you, but nah, nah, nah. Dre I'm said just saying, let like it flow. nothing. About that session, <laughs> if it was never like, yo, person. you hear the first <laughs> no. moan you hear from her, you gonna stop? Like, I'm gonna stop. I'm like, yo, it's just fucked up. You keep saying, um, you need to and understand I that whoever this. Who, see, now let's he's let's not, please let's not, get it off, let's get it off of those people, yo, and let's just talk about let's something. Let's just fictitious. talk about just regular, just just fictitious yeah, in 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 fictitious, in, so. right, fictitious. So, so if somebody, you are, go ahead. if you are in that position. You would stop, but a creep, he's gonna fuck his way through all of that. You know why? Ah. It's it's like it's like listen, listen, listen. It's like a person that's doing the other thing, the big R, right? Yeah. Terrible. I could never, I could never even imagine doing that because no. it's like, what the fuck, nigga? I'm not supposed to. Clearly, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not gonna do that. But there's people who will. They'll keep going. They already taken over by something else. To, to, to continue. And that's what I'm saying. You talking about regular shit. These people ain't regular. They're not regular. I don't think, I don't think though, like, like she said, demon, a demon family, which is right. Yeah, man. I, I really think that people like that, if you got a mother and a, a adopted family like that, that adopts a person with special needs and the, they know that the husband is sleeping with the person, the, the the girl with special special needs. Any protective, any mother with mother intuitions would say, "Let me protect this baby." Step in between. I understand this is my husband, but if I was ever to get have kids or have a little girl by this man, this man shows predator tendencies. So why not? get away from a predator instead of keeping this motherfucker around you don't keep a predator around dog you don't stay around a predator i agree you don't you don't you that's that's just normal in the wild a chick a, a, a chick a chicken with chicks will never fucking raise her chicks next to a fucking viper pit get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying because that's what he is you would Kinda. never yeah but you fuck a viper what I'm pit saying? Where snakes are vipers, snakes live. Then where snakes. Oh, a new... viper pit. I pit, thought you yeah. that was a new type of pit bull. All right. No, 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 no. A viper pit. You let would me never. You... <laughs> let me God ask you. And this, damn, no, 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 no. This is relating to that. And I think this is a very. Um, to me, this is a very um, pertinent question that we should ask. If this was uh, reversed as far as um, genders, how does it go? It's bad too, dog. Like I know, just but let's let's go into it though. I'm tired of people thinking it's okay to fucking because sometimes men don't want to be. If he's a handicapped boy, he don't know what's going on. That's don't make it fucking right. You don't take advantage of somebody just because oh he's a man he should like it. He's he you know the woman gave him some pussy and he's handicapped. How you know that the boy wanted that to be his first experience that you took advantage of him? Why would it be his first like, experience? He's going around fucking other women. Man, I say it, reverse right. it. Reverse the thing and the think about theory. it objectively. See, that's the fuck. That's what... Okay, would you congratulate him? Um, think about man. it objectively. Because oh, I think I think, I think this way you got to detach yourself. You just put yourself in that in that boy's shoe. And then in the other situation, you was putting yourself in the man's shoe. I need you to, to detach from the situation and ask yourself, it, it was reversed. And that boy was out there fucking other girls, calling other girls and fucking them. And his, his adopted mother of age and his adopted mother or his fostered mother was fucking him. It's like... All of us can think about this. I'm not saying I'm just you. individual because you would probably, I would probably congratulate the little nigga, but I also mm. have to look at it like, yo, I would still look at the woman like, you're a fucking piece of shit. Like, you really are a piece of shit. Like, you're his fucking caretaker. Like, she why, is. Are you, why are you sleeping with the nigga you're supposed to be taking care of? 
Mm -hmm. Like, why, why are you doing like you're that desperate to go fucking take advantage to take advantage of him? Come on, like for real, you're his caretaker. You didn't move this nigga in as your partner that you're going to be in a relationship with. You move this man in with mental disabilities as a person that you're going to take care of. So take care of him like a mother would do instead of some old trifling cougar. Come on, man. I just... He would slap the nigga on his back, but it's still like, it's it's fucked up. It's like, you don't... <laughs> Not for what nothing. What you think of the man? Are, I'm about to say, there are women in the world who actually have children and have sexually assaulted their own children. Like from they need to burn in hell with a fucking metal pole so, in the ass. So I, what I, what I'm saying is it's it's not far off from from what Dre's saying to happen, especially with a woman taking in a 21 year old man with some sort of disability. She's getting paid to take care of him, and she's giving him some pussy on the side. I mean, because he's because he's asking for it, basically. Because he's asking for it. it he's. I mean, I guess it's a win win for it's, him. Yeah, it's, for it's him, still, still not predator. Being a predator is just being a predator. It's a predator, it's, you know. You're what I mean, sh- she's a she's a piece of shit because it's just like the man's a piece of shit. Like mm-hmm. if that's the case, just make the per- make this handicapped person your fucking your partner, your boyfriend, or your you girlfriend. Get married. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's that's how, yo, you know how fucked up that'd be if you came home. And you catch your handicapped son working the shit out of your wife, like just just give it to her. Most of these handicapped niggas, they God takes away some abilities, but He bless them with others. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <sighs> that nigga snatch all that shit up out your wife, you'd be hot. You'd be fucking hot. Hey, yo, <laughs> <laughs> you'd be hot. Like you still snatching it out of her, like you'd be hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, you be, fucking, <laughs> you be tight. You just have to leave. You just wouldn't be. Able, you wouldn't be able to recover from that. You just hey, yo. you wouldn't tell nobody. You like, why did you? In- oh no, that's should- getting out. Why that, you there Tanya, ain't no way to hold that in because you go. Why you and Tommy got the You, you just want to see an eye to eye. You go and try and kill him, or you kicking both of them out. You filing all types you. of shit, divorces, just and divorce it's going to leak. That young boy going to definitely tell everybody because he yeah. because because he just tells the truth. Somebody walk up to him, hey yo, I heard you had sex with your your caretaker, your mom's. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> it's coming out. Let me let me ask another important question. At what Listen. age? At what age are you not questioning your sexual decisions? That's a good question. Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, listen. If you, I I used to work in like group home facilities and stuff like that, and um, we would refer to them as consumers, uh, and we would. To use her as an example, we would call her a high functioning consumer, which means she's capable of doing a lot of things on her own. She can get dressed. She can feed herself. She might know how to cook. She can go out and go shopping. She can do things on her own. She's just not capable of holding a job that would be able to pay for all of the things that she needs. So right. her family pays for assisted living for her. Right. You know what I mean? Or, or the state does. However, that would be the case. I feel as though that is the situation that she kind of is. She's in-house consumer yep. with a family who's getting paid to have her living there. Okay. So hmm. how much how much of a mother figure can you be if you've that, only been with a person for three years starting from the age of 21? That changes okay. things. Now, with that being said, with her being high functioning, she still has her own thought process. She knows what things are. She knows what pornos are, apparently. Mm-hmm. You know, it probably wasn't the first time that she watched them. Again, she's 24. Mm-hmm. Not to say that she's been living life like everyone else has lived life, but I'm pretty sure she's been through some type of something. And it could have started from a young age. You don't know what oh, she's yeah. gone through yep. you yeah. know, as, as a person. And that's why I was always saying, like, it's it's a predator type of nature because 
if it's something that she feels though she's just used to that might be how she deals with it like fuck it it's gonna happen anyway i'm just gonna do it and then i'm gonna try and enjoy it could be how like, she shows her. love yeah, yeah how about this how how she she do this so you smoke so weed with it? Again? when i smoke what because if she's what i smoke weed with her yeah he was making he's making a good point any, any i i smoke i've smoked weed with people who haven't been the brightest and don't and are kind of on the spectrum it, if I can see you roll it yourself and you smoke it, then I'm not going to question, yo, you shouldn't be doing that, son. Something mm. wrong with you. Who says that? You know what I mean? Like, if that's what you want to do as an adult, then, and you out here on your own terms, then who be it to me to be like, nah. You know what I'm saying? If I know you personally, if you're just some random person, I don't just smoke with random people. So you would smoke with her. That. I mean, if I knew her and she smoked. That man I, was really making a good point. You know care. what I mean, and then and you came. It was going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, like, but get back to your point. I'm sorry, I interrupted. But anyway, she 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 would be considered a high functioning consumer, which means that she does things on her own terms. She's living her own life. There's just people there to assist with the certain needs that she might not be capable of doing. Having sex be, might not be one of them needs. You shouldn't be assisting with dick. Doing. You shouldn't be assisting no, no. with this. You should not. You should not. Absolutely. But you should not. But in the same, but that removes the same that mother figure shit. Yeah. It removes that mother yeah, figure. Remo- yeah, exactly. So they're in all reality, they're she it's like they're roommates in a sense. See, she's grown. It, it, she, and they're probably getting they're more than likely getting paid for her being being there. They're not yeah, doing yeah. it necessarily out of just the kindness that's, of their heart. That's why I kept saying not adopted. I, I don't, that's the only reason why I said that. I assumed it though. I assumed it mm. because it's like, well, she's old enough to where she wouldn't be adopted. Maybe that's a foster thing or whatever. But it, like you're saying, like how, like I didn't notice until I moved to New Jersey and how y'all had clients and shit. Yeah, she yeah. could just be a client. And if she's a client and you're doing fucking, I can't, I can't really say all the god awful shit y'all used to do, not sexually. Nah, uh, y'all used to do to the that. clients, not you. <laughs> but the shit that the shit that I heard motherfuckers do to clients, not sexually, but like just fucking with them and shit, it becomes like a it's it's not necessarily a we're taking care of you thing. It's like you're living you here. Live here. You live here. You know, we room make and board. right room and board, go shopping for you or something like that. And it's kind of a separate thing. Now that doesn't mean that the guy's not a piece of shit. The guy's still a piece of shit, no matter what. No matter which which way you cut it, he's still a piece of shit. But the mother. That's that's or not the mother. We keep calling her the mother. The woman in the video, that's where it becomes a weird see, line. See that I'm reading this shit like, yeah, she really yeah. wanted to be the mom that pimped the daughter. She really wants that. Yeah, no, no, no. She wants the mother to be the pimp. <laughs> no, no, no. She said if that was your daughter. What would you do? Um, like, I mean, well, if that was my daughter, that's, that's she wouldn't daughter. be living with somebody else's family. Yeah, that's I would somebody's take daughter. Care of my own daughter. Because she needs, she would need me. I would assume right. that her family's not in the picture, or else she wouldn't be living with them. You know what I mean? But if my if I seen my daughter going through some shit like that, I'm fucking shit up, up and straight up and down. Period. I'm coming in there to fuck shit up. Hey, you, you That's like, it. You like, bro? You because she went with her biological father, like her biological father. From watching the video is still being uh, is still being in a part of our life, and he's probably teaching. It's like I'm not having sex with you. It's fucking rape, and that's what she said in the video. And he's probably telling her like anybody else that's your age is having sex with you. They're raping you too, and she can't put two and from. If that's the case, then that that person can't put two and two together it i'm just like saying she expresses love that's what it sounds like that she don't understand love quite like me and you would so that's love kind is of what, that's kind of what she does that's what it seems like to a man man listen that 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 whole situation fucked up that lady is just lady need to be in jail she don't they don't need clients because obviously no. the husband is fucking all the clients that come through the door if they got a vagina. Only clients is the book. They the got book. a line of clients. <laughs> and he be fucking. He, he approves just, him. He just be in there fucking all the clients. He but you know what? Up. You know what? I take everything I just said back. He's referred to as Daddy Chris. Yeah. So I take Daddy. everything I just said back. Yeah. He's referred to as Daddy Chris. 
That's weird. It's, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. Because the mom probably said, we're going to bring you in as a client, but we're going to look at you as daddy. a daughter. And this is your daddy. Maybe the mom's doing some fucked up shit. You know what? Who, Who was that, Marianne? Was that Marianne yeah. that was just commenting? Yeah. yeah, she right. She right. Yeah. She right. The mom, the mom. Yeah, she's right. Mom is doing some fucked up shit. I, yeah. Just come on, man. It's just she's right. yeah. Let's let's we're gonna wrap this shit up, man. Um, then we please because you're going to jail immediately after this podcast. I almost fucked the kid with scoliosis. I'm, I don't know man. what you did, and I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be an accessory to the fact. After all of them are all twisted up. Is is crazy? <laughs> then the nigga said. Then the nigga said. Yeah, she walked away. You sure she, she walked, didn't away? walk away? I, I walked mean, away. I just rolled away she, on my bike. She, she kind of walked away. She was like, sitting there. She couldn't move. Bunch of crazy shit. It was bad. So man. book a cab. So wait, see, right? The book of cab. Yo, here's the fucked up thing. I'm gonna tell you. At the end of her just, yard, and then she just couldn't get back. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now. <laughs> He said, in order for her to talk to him, she had to turn her back. And since she was twisted up, she was always looking behind. Oh my god! <laughs> and then she would say something like, "I fucked the shit out of you." With her back facing, that's, this yo, nigga. that's what confused me. That's what confused me. I'm like, first of all, she ain't had no confidence to know that she could do that. Second of all, <laughs> how? <laughs> wasn't I wasn't, How? I wasn't find it out confidently with this motherfucker could do because I'm not it just I'm like you, yo, you was a, you was above it right I was going to do it but then I thought yeah. it's fucked up one no you ain't want nobody oh, to make God. You say, it's it fucked up one and two I don't need you leaking the information that I hit that and you know, Kev got that Kev got potent shit. Kev would have definitely had a baby with her back in the day. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> kids, all kids would have came out like pretzels. <laughs> and this shit. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> and this shit. I'm done. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> yeah, we're banned. <laughs> <laughs>